Okay, in this lesson, we'll look at uh, what we will do in a plan view with other rivets linked into your uh, model. So in previous lessons, we looked at how we link in other models into our project. So now what you see on your screen, now you see a plan view, plumbing fixtures, and other elements from the architect's model. Now to see that model link, we will go to the Insert tab, click Manage Links, and now you'll see listed the architect's model that's currently linked into our Rivet project. So we can't cancel here. Now by default, whatever you link in Revit MEP project, the visibility settings comes from the architect's project or whatever the project is linked. Those settings are dictated by your project. So in other words, you're the host and your settings apply to it. So that's why some of the elements are grayed out, can't modify, because uh, this is a link file. Okay, now sometimes you might not see everything because your settings dictate this, the views, what you see and don't see. So whenever you create a new level or looking at existing level, how do you go about changing the visibility and what we want to see? Uh, so for this view, we can go look at our visibility settings. Go to the view tab on the ribbon. And then all the way on the left, you'll have visibility graphics. Now, when the visibility graphics windows open, you'll see you have several tabs that control the visibility of several elements within the project. You have the models, and these, these control everything in your project. Second tab is annotation, and then your stuff. Then uh, third is analytical, imported categories filters here and then we'll go down to uh, go to the one that looks sick. We'll select the one on links. Now if you have a link written to project, this tab will appear and you'll see the projects here. Now this tab won't appear unless if you don't have any link files it won't appear. So now we see the architect's model when we hit the plus sign to the left. You'll see secondary items, things that are shared or not shared. Okay, you have current settings and you have half tone and underlay. And then you have by host here. So whatever view you're in, um, it's settings and visibility will apply to an associated view from your link Revit architecture project. To change that, if you want to change something, you know, something you turned on or turned off and you want to see it from your architect, you'll, you'll just override this. You'll click on by host view. And then once you do that, a new window will open up and with specific settings for your link Revit project. Okay. So you got basics, you got model categories, annotation, basically the same that we saw in the previous. Uh, so everything's grayed out here. You can't select anything. So let's go back to the basics. Now you have three radio buttons here and these three options. So if I hit host views by my default, and then we have uh, you can click on by link view. What view is linked in per the view? You can pick that one. And that view will carry through to all the other tabs. So if you go to the model tab, okay. Now to change everything individually, how you see and view things, what you want to do is you want to click on custom. Now once you click custom, you can see all the basic elements allowed to be changed.
you can go in each one of these and, and change them. So, but to change uh, other things, you have to go to your model category. Everything is still grayed out, but the drop down here, you want to select it to change it to custom. And then you have the ability to change all these individual changes here. So that's how you do that. And the same thing is true for annotation categories. You can change it to custom, and then you can change these elements. Say custom. Oh. So this gives you the ability to override uh, things from your link. Project. So let's go back to basics. Let's leave it at custom. I'm going to click OK. And now you see, I'm going to click OK again. OK. And now you see some of the things are coming in at a different color, and you can see them. So as a review here, basically what we did, we, we uh, we looked at uh, our initial plan views after we linked in an external file project or model, which was the architect's model. And we looked at how those views and elements from that view, the link view, are visually seen in our current project. And we looked at how we can override those views and how we can change the settings per visibility graphics so we can see additional things in, and not have it uh, follow what uh, our host settings from our current project. So folks, thank you for watching this video. Um, and finally, this basically shows you how to change things from custom to your uh, visual so you can see things or no see it. So thanks for watching this video and to the next video. Bye and subscribe to this channel if you like or give me the thumbs up button. Next video.